Now to the man accused of installing a hidden camera in his neighbor's home. He appeared before a judge today. Michelle Choi has details on why the judge wants the suspect back in court rather quickly in just another week. Yeah, 48 year old Brian Burnett is currently at a jail on bond. Our cameras are rolling as he walked into the courthouse. Is there anything you'd like to say about what you're being accused of? Not at this comment? time, thank you. Burnett didn't comment when I asked if he had anything to say about what he's accused of. However, his attorney did. He's innocent. I intend to prove it. Burnett is charged with invasive visual recording, a felony. Court documents detail the disturbing case. It says back in November, Burnett's female neighbor noticed holes in her bathroom ceiling. Days later, she had a friend crawl into her attic. That's when they found a hidden camera and drywall from the townhome unit next door torn down. Burnett is accused of knocking down the drywall that separates the two connected attics to install the camera. Months later, the Harris County Sheriff's Office arrested Burnett after detectives got a search warrant for the video camera and its SD card and found 20 bookmarked exported videos. Investigators say the videos appear to have been taken from the hidden camera above the alleged victim's shower. As part of his bond condition in PC court this past Friday, Burnett was barred from returning home, a decision that led to this heated exchange between him and the judge. When Burnett argued, his neighbor had already moved out. Stop talking! She moved! Well, then tell the judge in your court that. Shortly after the judge had Burnett removed from the courtroom, fast forward to this morning in criminal court, Burnett's attorney asked the judge to remove the restriction, which he did. Despite prosecutors arguing while the alleged victim had moved out, another female tenant is set to move in next month and repairs to the attic still have yet to be made. Everyone should feel safe and in fact be safe and feel comfortable in their home. And so any cases like this, not just this one specifically, but any situation such as this, where there are concerns someone is not safe and that their home is not in fact private is always incredibly concerning. Yeah, the prosecutor you just heard from says that the DA's office will be looking at all the videos they've obtained from investigators. He also told me that the judge is wanting another update on the damaged attic situation sometime next week. Back to you.